How's it going guys? Fox here and welcome to chapter 29 X Battle Preparations. There was no story for this one, it just went straight in. I'll receive your word from Captain Fargus. If we come to bat bat on, he'll give us passage to the Dread Isle. Well then, let's get going. It would be best if we outfitted ourselves before setting out. We will need many supplies for our campaign on Valor. Yeah, and the castle town here is better stocked than Baton, I'm sure. We can empty our coffers here and sell the treasures if needed. Need be. Huh. <laughs> um, with an limit, of course. Say, 30,000 gold? That seems like a reasonable bull bounce. Come on. I'll lead the way. Ostas Castle uh, town is as impressive as ever. Shops and items of all types imaginable. For general, for generations, our ancestors, for generations, our ancestors dedicated themselves to a sort of fu uh, fugal militarism. Nobles and commoners alike are uh, shunned, shunned extravagance. Corrupt neither the body nor mind, they cried. Since the time of Roland, this has been the dominant ideology of Osta. Hmm. I heard that when Lord Otha first participated in the Lycian Council as Mar Marquess Osta, he gave a scathing indictment of the peer system. Now I understand. His, uh, his philosophy had its roots in the history of Osta itself. That's right. Yet, this thinking, it threatens the lifestyles of many of our aristocrats. So some groups view my brothers, my brother with enemy. I must grow wiser so that I can sit by, at my brother's side and aid him. Of course, my fighting skills are not yet what they should be. But this isn't the kind of place to talk, uh, kind of talk. We've got to get going, come on. Yes, now I will go with you. Curious. Not that, Lindus. Hector, he acts like such a brute, but he takes his duties seriously. Hector has always been a man of firm character. I've always envied him for that. His ability to conceal any doubts he feels about himself or his actions. I know. I'm a little envious too. Now what? He doesn't seem to second guess uh, what he must do. No hesitation. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate about anything concerning my grandfather's help. In fact, I'd be happy to do anything I could. I thought I was all alone in the world. And now that I've found my family, I don't want to lose him. I know what you mean. I can't bear to think of losing my mother. And if I survived all this, I want to be at my mother's side do anything she asks. Nothing is more important than family, yet in my heart, the plains still call to me. The never-ending oceans of grass, the memory of that scent alone is enough to leave me weak. Lindus. Hey, what are you- hey, what are you two doing? Let's get going, both of you. Well, first we must deal with the menace before us. If we can't stop Nurgle, we'll lose everything dear to us. Let's go. Everything dear to us. Alright, so I'm assuming that this is just a shopping spray. Yeah, there's nothing here. So... In reality, it doesn't matter what we bring. But everyone should have a full inventory so that anything we purchase will go straight into stock and we should sell anything we don't need and use anything we can okay so torches um yeah i'm just gonna give up everything here and take a bunch of stuff to junk chest key fuck it um iron rune what's this do oh and the great critical attacks that's actually pretty useful i'm gonna get rid of the lights thing though so let's junk all these items. 
because we need room. So uh, I guess I'll, since we don't have to prepare the troops, I will prepare our inventory. And then we'll be back to shopping, I guess. This is going to be a weird chapter. Alright guys, it took a few minutes to organize the inventories and sell some stuff. And first things first, I'm going to use both the Dragon Shield to increase Lin's defense by 2, and the Body Ring to increase your constitution by 2. Because I'm always going to be using Lin. Next things, uh, next, Lucius, I'm going to be upgrading into the better monk, because he is an amazing class, he's shown so much, like, use, that I think we could use him. So now he is a bishop, and that's amazing stat increasement. Now we can use staffs, just like, um, what's his face, Urk. So, I'm going to give him a heal staff, and that'll be good to go. The other unit I wanted to upgrade was, uh... Ooh, not Cell. Was Kent, because I really like Kent as a character. So, I'm just going to upgrade him up, because I like the way he is. I was thinking about Loen, because he's higher level, but I do like Kent more as a character. So, now he's a paladin. And there we go. Now we can use axes. Right, so let's just give him some weapons so that he can be ready to go whenever needed. Uh, and we don't have any good cheap axes, so we'll have to find some of those. Um, I also am going to be upgrading both Raven. Because Raven's proven some use. He hasn't died yet, so that's impressive. Because I've put him in a lot of bad situations. So he's our first hero that we've upgraded into. So, he could be useful in the future. Plus he has use with axes. So we need quite a few weak axes. Um, and then I would also like to upgrade Dorcas into the better fighter. Which we also have made, which I believe is Berserker. Um, no, this is... Is this the Berserker? No, this is the Warrior, and he can use bows now, I believe. Yes, which is kind of neat, because his power is pretty good. So I'm going to give him an iron bow right out of the gate. Don't know if he'll be great, but it's good to have. Never a bad thing to have. Also, I'm going to give up the Iron Axe so you can have, I don't know, a Silver Axe, a Killing Axe, a Killer Axe, there we go. That way I can give Kent or Raven, at least, an Iron Axe. Give him a Hand Axe. And I'll give him a Javelin, because we have plenty. Um, yeah, for him I would need to give him an Axe. I think that's all the upgrading I wanted to do. Pretty sure all these characters are pretty dead to me, in my mind. Um, I'm gonna give, um, oh, give her um, a silver sword, I guess, and an elixir. And then I think everyone's equipped for how I want them to be. And then I'm just gonna save it up, and let's just go in there. Yeah, sure, deploy the Merlinus. Lord Hector, Lord Oswin, or Sir Oswin, I have brought you the 3,000, uh, 30,000 gold you have asked for from the treasurer. There we go. Now we just start buying shit. So let's check out the vendors. So this guy's got pretty much all the spells, it's only flux for that. So I'm gonna buy a divine, because I don't have one of those. Uh, I'll buy an Elfire, because I'm running out of those. I'll buy a fire, just in case, and I'll buy a thunder, just in case. Everything else I'm pretty sure I'm well stocked on. Now for this one... Uh, let's see. These are healing stuffs. Um, I could always use another heal. Buy... Actually, I think we're good on men's. We have a lot of those. Um, and I'm just gonna buy a couple of elixirs. 
because elixirs we're always going to need. So I'm just going to buy a couple of those and then we should be good. Um, then we have the armory, which is bows. Uh, I'm going to buy a longbow because actually I'll buy two longbows because those are really useful. And one killer bow, just in case. I think we're good on that front then. Um, I'm gonna check out this house. You know, it's only information. I pr I'm pretty sure. Weapons and items can help build your fortune. You know. You ought to search through any chest you come across. All right. I mean, that's pretty common knowledge, but. All right, so let's check this armory. Okay, so this is the axe armory. So I'm gonna buy two iron axes. And I think that's all I really need. I have a lot of axes. I'll buy one steel axe too, just just in case. But really the axe, the axe front seems pretty solid. It's the sword front I'm a little worried about. Okay, so spears. I have a lot of uh, iron spears. I have a lot of javelins. I have a lot of killer lances. I'll buy one silver lance. Oh. Just to be a little prepared. I don't use lances that often now, so. So that means this is the important one. Swords. I'm going to buy three iron swords. Two steel swords. Two killing edges. And let's see what else we got here. That's it can't buy light brands, but that's fine. That's a pretty powerful weapon. Um, I'll buy a silver sword, I guess. I'll buy another killing edge, another steel sword. Thing is, I don't know if there's any shops after this. So I don't know if it's really worth trying to check. Um, I'll try the arena. Okay, that was pretty easy. Get some good experience for Urk. It's pretty much all the arena is good for is for leveling up. I mean, you can make some money too, but... Um... I do need to train up Lin a little bit, so I'm gonna actually do that. I guess I'll show it on screen just in case you guys want to see. I mean, this this episode is going to be very short. Okay, this is going to be easy. Because this guy's got an accuracy of a buffalo. And the speed of one. And now he's dead. Level up for Lynn, which is good. She needs it. She's very low level compared to everyone else. Alright. Um, I'm trying to think if I need anything else. Oh, we have five turns to get supplies. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to move down here and I'm going to check my supplies. See how much room I have. And... Okay, so I have quite a bit more space, or quite a bit more space than I thought I did. Um, oh wait, where'd those iron axes go? Oh, I must have had inventory with the person I bought those with. Longbows. Let's see, yeah, we have two men's. Could maybe use another heal. So I've been using heal and it's fine. If they sold physics staffs, I would have bought those out no matter how much they cost. Yeah, we have plenty of fires, L fires. A little low on the thunder, but that's fine. Divine. Ooh, maybe maybe we should put, buy some more light magic. Um, that's a good amount of elixirs. Um, okay, yeah, maybe maybe some more elixirs and maybe a couple of light. Um. So the light magic was 
here, I believe? No, it was here. Okay, so I'll buy one of each of these, I guess. And then one of this. And then... What was it else that I wanted to buy? Ah, oh, right, another heal staff would be nice to have on hand. We have two men's, we don't need any more of those. Um... And the iron axes, who bought those? It's probably Florina, I think. Um, yeah, item? Yeah, she has the iron axes on her. I'll buy one more just in case, because I have just gotten a lot of characters that can use axes. Um, so yeah, end turn. Armor it up. Ooh, this might be bad. Um... And she's got the speed, so she's fine. Another kill for Lynn. Um, let's see. I think that's everything I need. I'll double check the merch again, because I can. Um... Swords look pretty stocked. Lances are super stocked. Axes... I do feel like I need more axes. I feel like I'm very low on axes. I mean, I have two hand axes, that's not bad. I wish I could buy hammers, that would be nice. Um... I have a killer bow. Maybe I should buy another killer bow. Just in case. I wish I could buy lockpicks, that would be amazing. But I do have 17, so that's not too bad. Ooh, da, 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 da. So I got three iron axes. Maybe I could buy another st one steel axe and a hand axe to make me feel better. So I'll buy a steel axe and a hand axe to make me feel better. Because I do have all this gold in the hand axe. And then, was it? No, not you. You? Yeah, I want to buy another killer bow. And I'll buy another long bow because I do have like four archers now, so might as well stock up. I should probably buy another one then if I have that many archers. Um, I have spears for days. It's really the, um, the swords and the axes that I'm most worried about. Um, Lance Cleaver, I don't think, like, these sort of weapons I don't use too often, so it's not really important to me, especially now that most characters can dual wield, like, different weapons. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go with... Yeah, no. I think I'm good. Alright. Another fight in the arena. Valkyrie with fire. She doesn't do much, but she does have good accuracy, which is worrisome. Okay, so, eight. What's her speed? Slow. Okay. Lynn's got this in the bag. Lynn actually took some damage, so... Alright, cool. But she got another level, so that's good. Nice. So fast. Staff. Get some experience with Urk as well. Doing a little bit of fighting in this chapter, guys. Don't worry. Um... I think that's it then. I think we're good. Final turn. Let's get one more arena in. Iron Lance. This might be bad. Okay, first one was dodged. 
I should beat him in speed pretty whole handed lamp. It's definitely dangerous. Okay, I dodge two. I should be fine then. Cause I can't miss. Yeah, two more hits. So yeah, I've won. Man, I can't believe I dodged a 48% chance three times, I think it was. Oh shit, he doesn't die. Oh, I'm only doing five damage. I've read the crit for the damage. I thought I was dealing eight. That's fine. So I dodged 48% three, four times. That's weird. Usually I'm the one on that ham-fisted luck. But, that's it. We're moving out. That should cover it. Let's head out for Badon. Then to the Dread Isle. Oh, Dragon's Gate. Welcome home, Master. I must steal. Look at this. The children's dragon stone. What will you do with it? I will infuse it with quintessence. This is the Dragon Girl Ninian's essence. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. With this, I will be able to call dragons whenever I please. Shall we begin the process right away? No. I lost some quintessence from the injuries I took from Athos. To summon the numbers I need, I must have more essence. One must fully prepare when dealing with dragons. If they rested free from my control and kill me, all I all would be for naught. I fear to report that the quintessence from the Black Fang has all been used. Where shall we next harvest f uh, come from? <laughs> all material, all the materials we need are heading this way even now. I see, Elliewood and friends. Yes, that's right. I will crush them, steal their essences, and call forth my dragons. <laughs> Well, alright guys, next time, we'll be heading to the Dragon's Gate. Sorry this one was a little underwhelming, but I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.